social media is looked at as a band-aid, right? So this example, who here uh, deals with Rogers, Canada? Rogers? Rogers customer here. I have a story about Rogers that talks about it being a band-aid. Now, the other a couple of months ago, I uh, was got a phone call from a robot at Rogers saying, you need to phone a number. So I was like, I thanked the robot, and I picked up my job to talk up the phone, and I went and dialed the new number that the robot gave me. And I got another robot who told me that that number wasn't being used anymore, that there's a new number. So I thanked that robot, hung up, dialed a new number, got a third robot who told me uh, if I wanted to continue in English, I'd have to press 8. So I pressed 8, and it gave me French anyway. And so I was lost. I had talked to three different robots, and I didn't know why they'd call me in the first place. Was my bill overdue? Were they going to cut me off any second? Like, this is what's panicking in my head? Or are they trying to sell me something? Whatever, they were wasting my time. So I tweeted it. I tweeted it in my frustration, which many of us do, right? And many customers are doing. They're going onto Twitter, they're going to Facebook and saying, what a big fail this company is. And this is what happens right away. I get Mary. How lovely. Mary says, Hi, Tara, this is Mary. I'd love to help you out. Awesome. Well, I've read the side here, and it says this thing right here. This is awesome. We're not here to replace existing channels of communications and customer care. Which channels would those be that you're trying not to replace? Because I, all I did was talk to ro robots, right? They want to complement these channels. Well, if they're complementing those channels, I actually have a little piece of advice for Rogers. Instead of hiring people for Twitter, why not hire somebody to answer your goddamn phones in the first place? tools as big, gross band-aids, and it's becoming more and more obvious for people. Not just me, and I have a low tolerance for, for this sort of stuff, because, you know, I, I work in this area, but also for people, regular everyday people, that are like, just fix your shit, for God's sakes, you know? 